Okay, let's learn a little bit about exponents in water. Isn't that a strange topic? Why do we need to know anything about the fancy math if we're just studying water? So that's the first question we'll be asking ourselves. Why the fancy math for water? This is screencast 15.4 in our acids and bases unit, unit 15. If you buy into the fact that you need to know about exponents if you're going to study water, let's make sure we know how to do the math. So if you missed it in your math class, you'll get a second chance here, learning it from scratch. No worries. And how do we convert between pH and hydrogen ion concentration? We'll find that's why we need the exponents in the first place. Let's make sure we can interconvert and realize on a, on a really quantitative level, a nice mathematical level, what pH really means. Okay, we need to do a little remedial math. Let's make sure we know why. We learned previously that water has a little bit of H plus and a little bit of OH minus in it. 10 to the minus 7th moles per liter of each. There's no exponents that are really needed for the math there. I guess you would still have to know how to multiply those numbers, but don't forget somebody just said let's call that solution pH 7. So we're converting that exponent to a whole number. So let's make sure we know how to do it. 10 to the minus 7 times 10 to the minus 7th is 10 to the minus 14th. If you didn't know that, check it out. You just add them up. How do you multiply exponents? Add them. 10 to the minus 4th, 10 to the 10th, 10 to the minus 14th. If we're adding them when we multiply exponents, we must be subtracting them when we divide, and we are. 10 to the 5th over 10 to the 3rd is 100, 10 squared. Let's relate this to real concentration. Suppose you have an aqueous solution with a 10 to the minus 7th molar H plus concentration. It's neutral. It must have an equal amount of hydroxide ion concentration. Another way of saying it is that those exponents always add up to 14. They're absolute values. That pH is 7. Since it has 7 powers of hydrogen, really, uh, got to drop that negative again, but they call it pH 7. And for neutral, pOH is also 7. 10 to the minus 7th powers of hydroxide, if you will. Same deal as pH. 10 to the minus 3rd, hmm, I think it's a pH of 3. The hydroxide ion concentration must be 10 to the minus 11th, the pH must be 3, and the pOH is 11. They always add up to 14. That's an acid. How about this one, acid or base? Well, it must be 10 to the minus 9th for the powers of hydroxide. pH must be 5, which is an acid. And pOH is 9. There you go. Finally, for this solution, that's a very low concentration of hydrogen ion, so pOH must be 10 to the minus 1 moles per liter, they add up to 14, the pH is 13, that's a strong base. Powers of hydroxide is simply 1. And that's how we do some exponents when we're studying water.